Audiences love when characters face tough choices. And today I want to share with you a simple two-step method that'll help you create dilemmas for your stories. By the way, my name is Brandon McNulty. I'm the author of Bad Parts, also the author of Entry Wounds, and welcome to my writing channel. Quick video for you guys today. I want to talk about creating difficult dilemmas for your characters. Because when we're reading a book or we're watching a movie, we like to see characters making those tough decisions. We like to see them stuck up against two bad options and having to weigh those options and figure out which one is the best choice to make. And in order to write a good dilemma, you need to be aware of the character's options as well as the potential outcomes of those options. And here's a simple two-step method that will help you. Step one is you need to consider the external and internal outcomes of each option. And with external, we mean what happens in the physical world, what happens outside of the character, as well as what happens to the character themselves. And then when we're talking about internal, we're talking about how a character feels about the decision they make, or how a character will feel if they do make one particular decision, if they do make one choice or the other. You can think of each option as a two-sided coin. One side is the external, the other side is the internal, but each option should have both. There should be some kind of external outcome and also some kind of internal outcome. Now, step two is that one side of the coin should be positive and the other side of the coin should be negative. So, for instance, you might have a character weighing their options, and the first option has a positive external outcome, but it has a negative internal outcome, meaning that they'll feel bad if they do make this decision. And then the other option would have a negative external outcome, but a positive internal outcome. So let me give you some examples from popular movies to illustrate what I mean by this. Let's take a look at the original Star Wars movie. Early on, Obi-Wan asks Luke to come to Alderaan with him. So Luke has to make a decision here. He has two options. The first option is he can stay on Tatooine. He could tell Obi-Wan no. And the external outcome for this option would be positive because Luke would not be putting himself in danger. He would not be upsetting his uncle or his aunt. Things would just go along smooth as they always have been. However, the internal outcome is negative because he's losing an opportunity to grow as a human being and he's also blowing an opportunity to defeat the empire that he hates. Now, the second option Luke has is to go with Obi-Wan to Alderaan. And the external outcome of this option is negative because from Luke's perspective, he could potentially die, he could potentially be harmed, and he would be leaving his uncle alone to run the farm by himself. Now, the internal outcome is positive in this case because Luke would be able to help a meaningful cause. He would be standing up for his beliefs. He would feel good about what he's doing. Let's take a look at another example. We'll take a look at Spider-Man 2, the Tobey Maguire one. And if you remember in the middle of the movie, there's that alley scene where Spider-Man falls in between the two buildings because he's struggling with his spider powers and he's also struggling with being Peter Parker as well. And he has to make a decision here. He has to decide, do I want to stop being Spider-Man or do I want to continue being Spider-Man? His first option is to stop being Spider-Man. And the external outcome of this would be a positive because he would be preserving his mental health and he would be able to pursue his studies as well as being able to pursue Mary Jane, pursue his romantic love interest. And the internal outcome of this, however, would be negative because he would be avoiding his responsibility and he could potentially feel guilty about endangering the people of New York City who have relied on him as their protection. Now, option number two is that he could continue being Spider-Man. And the external outcome of this is negative because he would be endangering his mental health and denying himself the opportunity to live as a human being and improve his grades and pursue Mary Jane. Now, the internal outcome, however, would be a positive one because he would be keeping up with his responsibility to the people of New York City, and he would also be keeping his promise to his uncle, great power and responsibility and all that. And in this case, he would be doing what he believes is right. And here's one more example. We'll take it from The Hunger Games, and we'll take it from the very end of the movie, the climax, the berry scene. And if you remember, this is at the very end where Katniss and Peeta are the only two people left standing, and then the game makers decide that all of a sudden, okay, there can only be one winner, so one of them has to die. And Katniss, in this scenario, she has two choices. She has two options. Her first option is that she can kill Peeta. 
And the external outcome here would be a positive one because Katniss would survive and she'd be able to return home a winner. She could take care of her sister and her mom. Now, the internal outcome, however, is negative because she would have to live with the fact that she killed her friend and she would also have to live with the fact that she bowed to the game makers. And then option number two is that she can eat the berries along with PETA and this would essentially be a double suicide. And the external outcome here is negative because it's death, they would both die, but the internal outcome here would be positive because they would die knowing that they dealt a blow to the capital that they hate so much. So I hope this helps, and the key thing to remember is that when your characters are facing a dilemma, you need to make those choices difficult. You don't want your characters to have easy or obvious choices to make. Whenever they do face one of those dilemmas, you wanna keep in mind the external and internal outcomes and where the positives and the negatives lie. There's always gonna be risk and safety, and characters are gonna try and balance out the two of them in order to find the best decision for them. Question of the day, what is the hardest choice you've ever seen a character make in a work of fiction? Let us know in the comments section below and also be sure to mark for spoilers. Thank you guys for watching. If you want to support the channel, please pick up a copy of either one of my novels. Also be sure to check out my other videos, hit the like and subscribe buttons for me, share this video with a friend, and as always, remember to keep on writing.